So just a few moments ago you guys got to witness probably one of the most epic things in GTA 5 history or probably just one of the most epic things crash wise that I've kind of uploaded in quite a while. An airplane flying into a helicopter, you don't see that every day and it's quite uncommon to see especially when you're in a mission and these two log nuts ended up making us have to redo the whole thing. But at least I got to record this part for you guys and I think they did that on purpose. Even though it was irritating to redo this heist over and over again, even though I've done it about 15,000 times, it was worth it for you guys. Yo, what is up everybody? This is JJ Supreme or to 16. How are you all doing today? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm bringing you another consecutive video of some GTA 5 and we're going to be doing a second heist on the GTA 5. And this one is known as the Prison Break. Now in a little bit I'll be explaining what the heist setup is before this, um, why this heist is my favorite one, what this heist is about, which is pretty much supposed to do, the different roles that the characters have, who's in my crew, what favorite weapons I got to use, different um, mechanisms and styles that I used while I was doing this, because there is a strategy pretty much to doing this. How come I chose this role instead of the other ones, and new YouTube stuff that I'm going to be putting up soon in this channel and some new channels, and some awesome news that you guys will love. So I joined by my friends Lone Wolf 23, which is my brother Oscar, and he has a gaming channel known as The Big O. I'll leave that in the link in the description below, so you guys can check it out. His gaming video is really awesome and epic, even though he's just starting out. You guys will love it. Now he's not a YouTuber such as what I do. He does more along the lines of what Markiplier and PewDiePie does, which is like PC gaming. He will play Xbox, but he doesn't really play that much. He uploaded a Dragon Ball Xenoverse video, guys. That was freaking awesome. Then I'm joined by my friend Caitlin, uh, either Equan Soldier, Ikini Soldier, and I apologize for messing up your gamer tag yet again. And Mr. Wolf. And whoa, Mr. Wolf and Lil Wolf are two tag duos. Did you know that those are the two log nuts that crashed our um, hopes of actually finishing this heist at the first time? Yeah those dynamic duos. Good thing we didn't have a Mr. Fox in this bunch. Huh. Haha. Uh -huh. But anyways, pretty much what this heist was about is that you have to rescue a prisoner known as Rakowski, who is a world renowned, I guess in GTA 5 world, prisoner who was like a doctor, physician, and stuff like that. He did some awesome criminal stuff and he got landed behind bars I don't know what he did I forgot the guy at the beginning said it but I kind of skipped that in the video if you guys noticed and I also fast forward the boring parts and chopped out all the traveling details pretty much because I don't want the video to be too long because I really don't know anything to talk about in these heists except the positions and stuff like that that's what she said alright but anyways this um you have to rescue him from the prison and then take him to an airplane and then rescue him or whatever and then leave and then he'll fly off somewhere into Mexico get his car and then you guys get to jump off the airplane at the beach and then fly off in a helicopter and then happily ever after. Now to um, the position that I have is known as the prisoner no prison guard sorry Caitlin is the one that has the prisoner. I would never be a prisoner. I'm not a slave to society. Neither is she. But anyways, the prison guard and the prisoner pretty much go into the prison and with the bus that you stole at the beginning of the first setup during this heist and pretty much all you have to do is go in there and pose as the prison and prison guard so that you won't get caught. But the weird thing is, is at the very beginning when you're walking about halfway under that little um, railway or either the whatever you want to call it we got caught and ended up dying and to avoid any casualties we just decided to get rid of the policeman because the guy on the phone lied to us and said that we wouldn't get caught and that's a big lie don't always listen to what people say do your thing anyways um, I just we just decided to do that and you go in and get Rakowski give him a weapon and then you guys pretty much just leave take him to safety and go into the Velium which is the airplane that you steal from the gang members known as the Vagos 
on the second um, setup of the heist. And you leave with that, you fly to the helicopter that you steal, and he'll fly to his so-called car, the Thunderbird or something like that, that you steal in the, um, another part of that helicopter or the VLM setup, and you guys pretty much just do it. Now for the pilot, you pretty much just fly around and try to survive as long as you can until the prisoner and the prison guard get to leave and do stuff and just try to watch out for any pilots that are trying to blow you up from the enemy team and for demolition team Mr. Wolf played a very good role in that he did a nice job trying to protect my brother which is the pilot for you know just blowing up the helicopters now to me personally the Velum area is the easiest part of the job and the reason why I gave that to my brother is two reasons one I want to show you guys the reason why I was a police officer and a prison guard in this little heist and because he was the best pilot I really can't fly for shit well, I mean now I can but I still can't but he's better than me sad to say but yeah that one is by far the easiest part now the reason why I chose the prison guard is because out of all the parts that I've played in this mission and all the little positions that I've had, Prison Guard is by far the most epic thing and more action that you guys get to see because come on, flying around in an airplane for a few minutes really isn't that much of a content to upload. Now had they started to upload a video for themselves, I would have more than happy given them the action area. But there's more action that goes on during this area and that shows the main character of the heist which is the guy named Rakowski and all the action stuff. Yeah action and epicness and because I just love being a prison guard I'm not the prisoner because I'm not a prisoner to society baby neither is Caitlyn but still okay so back to the topic baby the weapons of choice that I got to use mostly were just the shotgun which is the multi round or the it's pretty much like the spaz or the spaz or the H6 TN from Call of Duty baby it's pretty much like a semi-automatic shotgun. It's the best one to use. And I like that one. It's really powerful. It beats the pump action shotgun because it goes so slow. The other one's easier to reload, faster to reload. And my favorite guns are the assault rifles that I got to use with the machine gun and the bull pop rifle. The reason why I use those is because they're the fastest ones and the strongest ones. Now the technique kind of that I use is to use the MG when you're on top of the ladder above the prison to pretty much destroy all the police officers and get rid of them. And then I use the MG for long distance and I use the bull pop rifle for close distance combat. Which you guys will see me transitioning between those two weapons during most of the heist. Best part to do is to hide behind stuff or either roll around while you're shooting. Now if you're kind of reloading you're screwed, but other than that, make sure you roll around every so often every time you take down an enemy because you're going to end up going to get screwed if you don't do that. There's so many police officers that you have to be careful from. Now the reason why this is um, my favorite heist out of all of them, because I've played all of them, is because this one has more epicness. It's easy to pretty much do, even though the first one is easy, I really don't like that one much. And more people would actually join this heist more than the other one surprisingly except the last one trust me when I used to host the um the lobbies a lot of people didn't join except this one I was really confused on why they did that but people have their decisions okay so talking about the YouTube thing my channel is JJ Supreme Order 16 and you guys know that but did you know that I have a PSN account I believe I've told you this a few videos ago, way, way, like a few months ago. But anyways, I have that. I'm finally going to set up my gaming channel for that because my cousin let us borrow it while he's going away for a while across the country, baby. And he pretty much just let us use it and we're going to be able to upload some videos from that. And my gaming channel will be Divine Potato. Now I'm actually setting up a clan that's potato now you guys want to you can leave comments either in my message box or on Twitter or on Facebook fan page or in the comments below letting me know that you want to join this clan different gamer tags that you can use is like sweet potato exotic potato kawaii potato those are just some samples that I have I like kawaii potato I might end up changing this to divine potato but hey 
Divine Potato is epic potato. Why a potato? Because potatoes are awesome. Did you know that people act like couch potatoes? Potatoes are really lazy, they just sit there. People are mimicking them. And little do they know that potatoes will actually rule the world like they did back in the 1840s when the potato famine in Ireland happened and one fourth of the population died. We shall rule the world! <laughs> yeah. I'm not twisted or demented like a pretzel in any way. And I'm sure as heck not salty. Okay, so the other thing that I was going to explain to you guys about was my uh, other channels, which is the II Fitness, or I might change it to I Fitness. It's pretty much going to be explaining about different health things. I'm going to be doing like health gurus with my cousins, and they get to join in, and I'll show you guys different exercise regimens and you guys can follow a certain procedure I'll show you guys schedules on a website that I'm going to soon create on what type of exercises you can do for what days to get the maximum amount of pretty much results that you do and the reason how I have proved is because I'm actually doing this on my own I'm actually practicing all of these schedules that I have myself so I'm killing myself out here while recording these videos so that I can get a tone as body for the summer and you guys can too and I'll also be talking about health stuff from saturated sugars to fake sugars refined sugars which is pretty much the same thing to healthy sugars things that you shouldn't drink such as pop, the high fructose corn syrup, the noni juice that I pretty much explained in other videos and all of that other healthy stuff, some healthy chips, the epicness just continues guys. And then I'm also probably going to create a vlogging channel uh, of Chicago or whenever I travel for you guys. I won't be uploading so that I really will but yeah I'm gonna also get more active on my comedy channel because I want to start doing more of that. I'm gonna take these things seriously now while I'm doing it and I also have a little secret thing that I'm doing for a company and I want you guys to kind of find out what it is. It's called Ambit Energy. You guys can look that up on YouTube. Look up Michael Obey and he'll explain pretty much what Ambit is. If for now it's $25 to join, and most of the time it's $480 to join until April 16th. You'd be pretty stupid not to do it. I mean, I'm doing it myself and I already see results. There are proofs. I have checks coming in every week, baby. How awesome is that? And pretty much what happens is, is um, that you pretty much get people that are under you such as consultants they'll be your um, underlings, underlings and they get customers to join you can get customers too pretty much what they do is they switch over to Ambit they get to save 7% on energy and gas lights and gas bill for a certain amount of years and then one uh, like one or two percent for the rest of the years and the best thing about it is they get to save up points for having to pay up all those bills that they have and they could get like little to no payments on bills how epic is that it's so beautiful and they started about seven years ago and now they have a billion dollar corporation and that's they only own three percent in the market imagine what they have in seven more years and there's a guy named michael obey i'll tell you about he gets four hundred thousand a month from doing that I only get about 150 every two weeks but bro four years that he's been in there four hundred thousand what uh, I'm telling you guys this so I can help you out, man. But anyways, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. I'll explain more about that in a little bit. I can leave a link in the description for my Ambit stuff so you guys can sign up. Rather look up on it. This proof you guys don't believe me. So make sure to like and subscribe and enjoy this video. And join back for some more epicness. Peace out.